Well, I couldn't help myself. I had to see what all the fuss was about, so I had to go get it. This is the Harbor Freight solar panel kit. 45 watt, 3 panels, 15 watts each. Comes with a little box, a couple lights, blah -de blah everybody knows about this. But, uh, we got her hooked up right now. We'll take a look. Well, the sun's going down. We don't have much sun right now, but <laughs> we're showing 11.2 volts. We're charging up the the battery bank. And there's the panels. 315 waters. So we're probably just going to run those in series along with that little guy up there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rack together tonight. Put these on there since the sun's pretty much cloudy. It's cloudy as hell in California today. But anywho, I'm going to go ahead and take these panels apart right now. Disconnect them. Take them inside, get them set up on the, the rack. And then uh, I think we're going to probably mount, try to figure out some kind of manual tracker or something like this one up here. That one, you know, when I think about it, I'll just come out and turn the pole and all the panels, those two panels will spin around and follow the sun. But we'll go ahead and figure something out. I'm probably going to throw them up there. On the edge of the roof somewhere, move the battery bank down below. So we can utilize the lights that come with it. But we'll get her all set up tomorrow. Which on this video will be the next time it comes on pretty much. So, a later from the west coast. So we went ahead and reinforced our frame a little bit so that we can mount it up on our pole. And our entire pole actually is going to pivot, which is what's going to make our manual tracker. So we kind of guesstimated with the panels on it where the center of gravity is. And the most weight seems to come down right into here. So we put this guy here to kind of redirect it back into here which comes all the way across and then this goes underneath it and she's screwed in all the weight will be directed oops be directed right down into here this will slide up into our pole we got some nice teeth on there grip in there real good and then we got an extra set of lock nut, lock nuts on there so i imagine it'll go on there pretty good so now we'll uh, we have to drill a hole in the eave because that's where I want to put it. So right there is where we're going to drill our hole uh, for our pole to go through up above the ridge or the roof, uh, above the roof anyways, not the ridge. And it'll come down to this table, which is actually an old old rigid uh, stand metal frame and all nice and stout and we're going to put a little something on top of that to make uh, the panels track manually whenever we remember to do it so we'll get that whole kit we'll be right back so there she is she's up little manual tracker and how we ended up doing it was we just stuck a lazy Susan underneath the pedestal or the pole that comes right up through the eave there. Um, one thing was, you know, for my area, 37 degrees is perfect. I get 100% sun during the day where those panels are at. So sitting at 37 degrees, that puts me at 100% of the sun's exposure. Uh, 37 degrees is uh, where my house sits 
so you're typically supposed to set your panels at that degree which they are coming just from Arbor Freight sitting on that rack just how they are that's how how they sit 30, 36 37 degrees roughly so I needed it to be exactly the same if I put it up on the roof I'm gonna be way kicked off and I'm gonna not get maximum sun exposure so by the little bracket that I have up there if you can see it that comes out horizontal with the ground so it puts the panels right at 36 37 degrees so we'll show you how she tracks you know the position that she's in right now is is perfect for every day I can leave it right there and still get full sun but just by turning it this way in the morning if I'm home I'm gonna get more sun in the morning this would be 10 to 2 and then as the evening sun set I could flip her around like this to just totally totally maximize it but for all intents and purposes so we don't forget we'll leave her right there I'm always out here every night so regardless of what happens every morning when I come out to have my coffee I'll spin that back to where she's at which is a perfect uh, azimuth to the sun so uh, there she is little ghetto made tracker hope you like it it's West Coast Doug I'm out